Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Welcome back to the basement yard. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's starting to get sexy. You're trying to do a sexy voice? I'm getting sexy. I hope this is over with now. <laughs> it makes me want to rip my dick in half from the hole. Oh, kids in a sandbox. You remember that shit? I do. Whoa. Kids in a Nelly. sandbox. For anyone who doesn't know, that was a video that we saw when we were younger of a woman shoving a, a dildo? dildo. Yeah, it was like a it was like a vibrating dildo into. I didn't know about the vibration. Well, the it was sound a, was off. That's well, why. See, when I think dildo, I think of, uh, you know, silicone that is molded to appear like a phallus. Penis. Yes. Uh, this was just like it was like a bullet. It was just like a fucking fifty cal. Yeah, it was. And not she as was, sharp. She was putting it in his pee hole. Yeah, she was like, and, and not only was she putting it in, but she was like screwing it in. Well, I think you would have to jam. You would. And he was like, I don't know if it was like enjoyment, but he was like, oh! <laughs> I remember being like, is is this good? I didn't know. Yeah, so like, I don't know if that video is still out there, but I feel like when we were like 14, like all those videos were coming out at the same time. Listen to me. It's definitely still out there. Uh, but yeah, there was like, obviously... Also, also, no sandbox. Yeah, that's that's what's the most fucked up. Yeah, it was just a man and a woman, and the woman was shoving a dildo into I this man's penis. I was genuinely like, I wanted to see kids in a sandbox, you know? Well, that sounds weird, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not at this time. No. <laughs> this is not... There's an island that we just discovered yeah. where there was some stuff happening. Yeah. Um, Bill Clinton was playing the saxophone for minors. Yeah, he was. Okay. He was ripping He hard. does play the sax, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You ever heard people? I think like I've seen. Oh, we jokes, did talk about the sex. Yeah, I've seen jokes on Twitter that say like Bill Clinton was the first black president or something like that. You was never that? heard? I think it's like Dave Chappelle and made like the, these jokes. no, yeah, I've heard that because he was like on like Arsenio Hall, just like ripping the sacks. <laughs> but yeah, like kids in it, no sand, no box. Yeah, I mean, I guess there was a box. There was in box. the room. Yeah, the woman's box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which she might have been wearing coverings. Uh, Put, we needed. I can't pull it up. I'm not saying pull it up for this afterward. Let's put it on our to-do list. No, I don't want to watch a guy get his pee hole demolished. Yeah, I, I, I guess I have to. Like, it's it's science. You know what I mean? It's but not science at all. There was a kids in a sandbox. Duh. There was the infamous two girls, one cup. Mm -hmm. Which, I have a very strong stomach. One of the only things in my life that made me not able to watch. Yeah, because, I mean, when someone poops into a cup... And, like, that's... It, okay. Pooping to a poop, pooping, poop. Hello, poop. Is that hot? Uh, <laughs> pooping into a cup is one thing, but then eating it. <laughs> Why did you say it like fucking ET? I know, eat it, eating it, and then throwing it up. I think, and then eating it one more ago. This is the part that got me. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. you know what I'm talking about when yeah. it was a toy. Yeah, it looked like how fish eat. One thing I remember so clearly. You ever feed a fish? Uh, I'm sure in my life I have. Mm -hmm. But one thing I remember so clearly from that video that bothered me more, not more, but as much as everything else, was like the fucking velocity at which this fucking shit was coming out of this girl's hiney hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I remember she was holding either a cup or a cone, which... I mean, if you're going to shit into something... Cone. Cone, 100%. Yeah. Sugar or waffle. Sugar. Yeah. And I remember, like, as it would be out of a soft serve mach machine, it, like, moved the cone. Yep. You remember that? They were trying to make poop ice cream. Pipe scream. Pipe scream. And uh, another a, a strength of mm -hmm. mine. Uh <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm just like I'm just like I haven't talked about this video in so long, dude. I remember, but and like, what else was there? There were other ones too, right? Um, there was Church of Fudge that I had talked about. I don't remember that one. It was just it like, was a priest shitting into a nun's mouth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was making that up, but it's a real thing. We saw that. I remember that one. Was, Josh threw up. I. It was like a chain reaction of throw up. Do you remember that? Who? Oh yeah, we were at our it was friends. Him, then like Cameron, and it was like four. Pe it was like throw up, throw up, and they like saw each other. They're all throw like up. throwing up onto each other. Yeah, throw up. yeah, yeah, yeah. A as there's a video playing with shit. Yeah, yeah. How yep. I survived that, we'll never know. Yeah. Uh, there was also Pain Olympics where guys were like chopping off their dick. Oh yes. Yeah. You have to assume that guy meddled in the Olympics. What happened with that one? I don't know. I I'm convinced it was dead people. That were 
doing it to themselves? No, no, no. Like, it was a dead body. What because the fuck did... Like, what What was wrong with the world? Do you remember Rotten? Rotten.com? Oh, Rotten. it was like all murder pictures. It was just like, oh, like fucking literally like murder porn. It w- Yeah, it, but not porn. It was just murder pictures. Or like just death pictures. Like someone got hit by a train. I remember that one very specifically. And it's like, why did we... Yeah. It was fucked up. We need to do research, though. We, we need have to. to. Who do you think can last longer without gagging in, in Two Girls, One Cup, me or you? I, easily me. Why? Because I have never gagged at stuff like that, ever. It's hard for me to look, but it won't make me gag. I don't know. Unless I get some smell. If you get some, like, pseudo poop smell. I'm gonna, uh, so, all right. So what we'll do is we'll have your dog just shit in the middle of your living room. You're leaving here soon anyways. It right. doesn't matter. And then play it. Then we, you know, if we add some more elements, some more senses, then yeah. Mm. But I still think I win. I don't know. I have a very strong stomach. But I until someone shits uh, yeah, into a yeah. sugar cone, yeah, and then eats it and then throws it up. I need to know, like, the what imp- did they pay those women? Bingo! I was just gonna say, I need to know what those women got. For- it wasn't enough. And like, even if they didn't get paid because of the shooting of the video, with it going, we're all dead. Yeah, that sounds like War of the Worlds. With like the compensation as it went viral. Should have been adequate, right? Oh, yeah, because everyone saw that fucking video, man. Everyone. I will say the soundtrack could have used some work. I thought it was just like slow piano, right? Whoever scored that. No, it was like, it was, I I, I don't know if this is true or not, because it's, you know, this is a very long time ago, but I think I remember it being like, if you walk into a massage office, kind of like that. A massage office? Oh, I don't know. What's it called? What parlor. Par- yeah, p- parlor? Still, how fucking old are you? Massage parlor? I mean, that one makes sense, but, like, still, like, how fucking old are you? I don't know. I don't know why I said massage office. That's definitely wrong. But yeah. you know how, like, you you walk in to get a massage, and they have, like, music of, it sounds like little Asian girls, like, yelling, like, into a valley. It's like, ah! <laughs> Wait, and there's, like, some beautiful strings. Like a harp? Uh, not harp. I wish I got... What's the thing that they they play really fast? Like, what is that? A xylophone? No, it's not a xylophone. Oh, it's like strings? Yeah, it's like strings. Oh, is it, is it like the one where it's like... Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, it's fucking... It's awesome. I don't know the name of it, and I I, I I'm pretty sure we just offended a whole race of people. Why? Because they're playing a the thing with strings? I don't know what the fuck it's called. It's oh. not a xylophone. Whoa! That's, whoa! Xylophones are metal. <laughs> Every, bing, dang, boom. You're not talking about the bing, bong, bing. You're talking about the ding, 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 ding. That's exactly That's it. That's it. You know right after this is done, we're, we're watching that damn video, right? Which one? There's a lot to go over Let's here. Let's go through a couple. Okay. I watched that on my staircase as a kid with Lawrence Roman. Lawrence is back on the podcast here. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, you watched which two girls? Uh, yeah. I don't know where the first time I saw that. I remember being terrified that there was going to be a bunch of pop-ups and that I wasn't going to like be yeah, able to Yeah, you remember back my... in the day when like when you'd look at porn you had to like sacrifice your computer basically. Well, it was like playing Minesweeper. It was basically, like, yeah. You click on something and you're like, "Huh. Okay, it's safe." Click on another. And it wasn't even just that like it things popped up. It's like they popped up where they knew the cursor would be. So like you'd go to like X out the page and it'd be like, "You won 4 million dollars. Click here." And it's like, yeah. Huh. "Yeah, it's terrifying. It was a dangerous game." Did you ever get did you get any ever did you ever get pop-ups and your parents caught you? No, but I did. Um, my brother once like called me and he was like, yo, don't freak out. I might have won a million dollars. I'm like, what? <laughs> and he's like, yo, don't like, don't tell anyone. I, you need to come down to the computer room. And I was like, all right. So I went downstairs and he was like, just look. And I looked, and it was like that fucking like multicolored pop up that was like, yeah. "You're the four millionth viewer," right. you know. And I was like, "Nick, you didn't. You didn't win a million dollars." Yes, I'm sorry. Can you imagine though if that actually was real? That's how you give it away. That or like the random emails you get of like I'm a Saudi prince. I never got those. Really, I got a ton of them. Like yeah. I, I could, I, I would have been running the world right now if uh-huh. I answered all those emails. Bless my grandmother's soul. She used to like those people that would call. They'd be like. Uh, huh, your social security number has been breached. You need to tell us it now. She would like talk to them. So we would consistently, I think we were the only household in America that had like, f- we were like friends with telemarketers basically. Cause they would just call us and talk to us. Cause my grandmother would talk to them. <laughs> Gloria there. Yeah. They would be straight up. They'd be like, Hey, them and the Jehovah's, the Jehovah's walked the town and they knew my grandmother by name. 
The hoves? The the hoves were coming in droves. I've only seen <laughs> I've only seen like three hoves in my life. Oh, remember I dated one. Yeah. I dated a She Jehovah. knocked on your door and you're like, hey, what's up? You want to go to the park? No, but like I I was dating her and then found out she was a part of the kingdom. And is that what they call it? I think it is. Like if you walk by the buildings, they're called like the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah or some shit. That's a Yeah. Big. Any Jehovah's out there. Any hoes. Cut it out. Um, was she door to door? She used to go on, as she would call them, missions. Well, yeah, they're called missions. That's great. That sounds pretty cool. I, if I was a part of a church and they said, we need you for a mission, I'm there. Right. You know, like, missions are just a cool word. Yeah. Like, if I went to church, I'd probably go to church more if they're like, we have a mission for you. Yeah. But also, if it's like to go to Arizona and, like, preach the good word, I'd be like, nah, dude, what? like, give me a gun. Do you know how much more in my life I would do if everything was classified as a mission? Yeah. Like, if Becca were saying, like, I need you to go on a mission and get groceries, I'm there. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm there a thousand percent. And no one's going to even know <laughs> that I was in the fucking supermarket. I would be <laughs> so good. I would be literally... Paint my face. Dude, I often walk into rooms and be like, I can disappear out of this room and no one would know I was here. I I feel like I can do that at like stores and shit. I think about that stuff. You think about disappearing out of rooms? Yeah, like if I were to pick up and leave this room right now, is there any trace of me left? I mean, yes, because I'm like, you know, talking like this. But yeah. what I'm saying is like, I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I, you fantasize about being a spy. Doesn't everyone? Well, I did when okay. I was a child. First of all, why don't you now? Because I'm an adult. And now I think about other things. You never know. Your your second career after all of this mm -hmm. could, is not as going to be a spy. Dude. You might be a spy. I'm not going to be a spy. You might be. How great would it be? How many movies have we seen where they like take celebrities and they're like, they'll never believe you're a spy? That's you. What movie? That's going to be you. Tom Cruise? He's got to be in one of them. You're going to be a spy, and I would support you. You could just be a Scientologist. No, don't do that. No, I'm not going to. Okay, good. I'm afraid, honestly. Of, I don't know what's going on in their uh, church of stuff. Yeah, they're they're out there, man. They're doing a lot of They're doing things. a lot of... If a we lot talk, of private investigating. If you are we're, we're getting shut down. Yeah, if you're not careful, we're getting our ass... Shut down. There's a there's gonna be a, a a beam. There's someone with binoculars in a van right now on the outside listening to this. Well, maybe that's what that fucking monster of a vehicle was that mm -hmm. was passing by. That sounded like a legit tank. It was. <laughs> <laughs> they're sending a fucking a full on Panzer Shrek to come and shoot at us. One more time with that. What was that? <laughs> I think that's what the tanks were called in World War Two. Panzer Shrek. Panzer. I remember from Call of Duty. Panzer or something. It sounds more like a pokey. Might be. Pokemon. Gotta evade the German tanks, apparently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's get to what we really need to talk to here. And you know. Really, what did I, I don't know what I just, whoa, oh, it's oh, playing oh, too early, oh, it's playing too oh, early. Oh. But listen, I have this here. Um, so, as you all probably know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, good old Ben Shapiro, you know, he, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but he reviewed... Uh, the hot new charting single WAP, WAP, which doesn't stand for it's not misspelled WASP, it is an acronym for wet ass pussy, pussy. right? And um, didn't know this about Ben Shapiro, but guy's not comfortable saying pussy. Yeah, he, he's not comfortable saying the pussy word. I don't. I, something tells me that a lot about what he did in that video made him very uncomfortable. Yeah. So in the video, if you guys you know don't know, it's Cardi B and Meg The Stallion, and they're both no, talking about Megan the, the Stallion. Stallion, it's because the Stallion was taken on Instagram. Was it? I don't know. Oh, I knowing some of our friends, I guarantee it was. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, Cardi B and Megan the Stallion uh, are just talking about how they have a wet ass pussy, you know. Good on them. And uh, yeah, good for them. Um, and uh, he just kind of reads these lyrics. Listen. Here are some of the lyrics. You ready? Mm -hmm. Whores in this house. Oh. There's some whores in this house. Yep. There's some whores in this house. <laughs> Whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. Oh, there are some whores in this house. It, it, it sounds like he just broke into his kid's room and he's frantic <laughs> and he's like, there's whores in the house. There's whores in the house. No, <laughs> it sounds like he went back to his wife 
after his wife catches him cheating, and he's like, "It wasn't me. There's whores in this house. There's whores. There's whores. There's whores, There's whores yeah. in this house." As if they're ghosts. Yeah. There's whores in the house. Yeah. They have broken in. Listen. Here's some lyrics. You ready? Whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. Oh. Hold up. I said certified freak seven days a week. Wet ass p word. Hmm. Make that pullout game weak. Hmm. Yeah, you effing with some wet ass p word. P word is female genitalia. Of course. Bring yeah. a Dude, don't call it a female genitalia. <laughs> call it what it is. A pussy. A puss. You can't call it a female genitalia unless you're wearing a lab coat. Yeah, unless you're literally like you have like the the clamps. That's it. I was thinking of what it's these more like were. a car jack. They put it in and then they crank it and it opens up. Do the they? The, yeah, dude. What? Yeah, they crank when it. When did you open. become an OBGYN? I. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. It just came out slow. So slow. Very slow. Um, uh, I just know that. I just know that. I've gained that knowledge. So do they like use like their foot to like mm -hmm. crank it? No, no, no. All jokes aside, uh, I wasn't joking. I'm seriously. No, he concerned. doesn't use his foot, but there is like a turning mechanism. So he like like a fucking old school like guillotine prepper, just yes. like cranking this yes. fucking thing to just uh -huh. separate these women they, at the scene. So they have them like saddles, like a horse, but vertical right and they go up into these saddles and then they stick it <laughs> wait are these on the wall no 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 no. they're in they're not suspended in midair but what i'm saying that'd be kind of cool though <laughs> be crazy <laughs> no, just no, no. walk in and there's a woman on the wall so to my knowledge to my knowledge right this is and pro women are probably watching this like this kid's a fucking idiot but listen, definitely their their feet are in stirrups okay right yes um, which is that the same as what cowboys wear those are spurs spurs but Sort of the metal is the same. Yeah. So they have their feet in that, and then this guy with a lab coat who says female genitalia, mm -hmm. he walks in. And Let then me he... check out your wet-ass P-word. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think there uh, there has to be some sort of lubrication involved in this thing. And then they stick this thing in the don't, don't you dare do that. You know what I was going to do. I know, you're about to spit on my floor. I was. So he, they stick it in there, and then he starts cranking. And then it starts opening. It's a reverse guillotine or a reverse vice grip. So it's basically, basically. It's a vice grip, but in reverse. It's okay. Okay. Go on. Continue. It, no, it just opens up so you can get a good look at the, you know, whatever's going on in there. That is something. That is something else. Oh, the, what, women need to go through. Women, I feel you for having to go through that because that doesn't sound enjoyable. Imagine that happened to our. But we just have old dudes who like cradle our balls. Yeah. I've never been. Like, I've only been fingered by doctors. You know what I mean? Like, those fingers have been in my ball sack. I don't think I've ever been fingered by a doctor. Yeah, they went right up, with, you know, into my ball sack. Back to Benny. Ass P word. Oh. Give me everything you got for yeah. this wet ass P word. Mm -hmm. Beat it up, N word. Catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this P word. Catch a charge. Catch <laughs> <laughs> That's the part I was thinking of. Like, he was so. Nerve. He's so nervous reading this. Like, oh, catch a shot. Catch a shot. He's, he's reading this like an old school, like, like racetrack announcer. This is like, and here he comes yeah. around the bend and see this kid. Catch a charge, p word. And around the bend is a wet ass p word. And there are whores in this house. Whores in this house. Whores in this house. It's catch a charge. N word with your wet ass p word. <laughs> it literally sounds like a horse race. Because yeah. of his voice. Yeah, and it doesn't help that he has like a little bit of a lisp. P-word's coming around the turn. It doesn't help that he has a little bit of a lisp. So he's like, what ass P-word, catch a charge. Catch a charge. <laughs> Hop on top, I want to ride. I do a kegel while it's inside. Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. Time out. That's impressive. Doing a kegel while it's inside? I thought it was kegel. It doesn't matter. Tomato potato. I though. also don't know what it is. It's like a, it's, I, I know what it does. Like, it's like a, to strengthen the walls. You know who had a kegel? <laughs> Pete. Is it a thing? Is it, is it an object I or think, is it an act? I think it is from my understanding. Is it like yoga? And now, listen, we know why you guys came here to listen to two men, heterosexual men tell you about women's stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and, and definitively also. <laughs> this is all fact. We're, we're all correct. This is all fact. Right. Pretty sure a kegel, from my understanding, it looks like anal beats, but... They're like a in a, like a Christmas tree like diag like I don't I from like, Pete had one so Pete had a Christmas tree for vaginas no for so, p words so for p wet ass p words yeah um I I think they're meant to like strengthen yeah it. like yeah. it's like yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. to me whoa. <laughs> 
take it easy. <laughs> no, I I thought it was like uh, a workout. Like I, thought I think it, was it like is yoga. I think it's meant to like. Can we Google it? Yes. Kegel, Kegel. But Ke- Kegel exercises. But either way, are you get you gotta get like repetitive contractions yes. of the pelvic muscles that it's control like, the flow. It's like a crunch. Like, it's a you it's, know it's a p word exercise. It's a p word exercise. The same way you it's do p word e word dick ups. Yeah. yeah. It continues uh, along these lines, uh, and it gets significantly, Ugh. significantly more vulgar. Yeah, like a, a lot more vulgar. Talk your s word, bite your lip, ask for a call while you ride that d word. You really ain't never gonna f him for a thing. He already made his mind up before he came. Now get your boots and your coat for this wet ass p word. Mm-hmm. Pay my tuition just to kiss me on this wet ass p. Right. So this is d guys. <laughs> Oh, 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 guys, guys, are you still there? I, I will not get a raincoat or rain boots for that wet SP word. Dude, <laughs> first of all, pay my tuition to get a kiss of this wet SP word. That is one expensive P word. First of all, that is an incredible line. Do you know how expensive college is? Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. That is it. That is a pay my tuition. That's a very interesting way of saying like give me also, some money also good on them for wanting to go to college and educate themselves bingo pay for my education these are famous stars yeah. they have all the money in the world but they want to go back and get their college education damn and, right but, but they don't want to pay for it with their money listen if i'm gonna give you this wet ass p word pay for my college tuition pay for my and i love that he's been he said ass he won't say the shit he won't say he won't shit say dick he's like d word s word uh, I, the, the, I'll tell you, out of all the words, I'm surprised you didn't say it was the N-word. No <laughs> invention of your own. But... Oh, man. Okay. We're, Boy, we're getting shut down. This, this is what feminists fought for. This is what the feminist movement was all about. It's not, uh, it, it's not really about, you know, women being treated as independent, full, rounded human beings. It's about wet-ass P-word. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Are you kidding? I hate this video so much. I love it. I hate the sly, like, sarcasm. Like, oh, this this is what feminism was all about. Like, a part of it. This guy literally sounds like a cartoon. Dude, he, there is no way he is not battery operated. Like, he's plugged into something because he is sounding like it. But ask P word. He, he sounds like, like a uh, you bought a toy and then you accidentally spilt water on it. Did you? I don't know if you saw. <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but apparently he like did like a follow up tweet saying like my wife is a doctor and she told me that women that have wet ass p words have some sort of a disease. Stop it! I I need to pull it up <laughs> now because I saw that and I was like, dude, you're just this hole that you're digging yourself. Do you know what's crazy? Like how disconnected you have to be to not understand <laughs> what that means and be like, uh, I think they have some sort of Sexually transmitted a disease. All right, hold on. Dude, this is one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Ben Shapiro's doctor wife diagnoses women in Cardi B's WAP with bacterial vaginosis. Dude, you could you imagine two big virgins? Dude, could you imagine what kind of sex your wife do they being have? like, oh, that what yeah, that's not normal. Like that's they got they have an issue. You know how awful he must be in the sack? In the sack. He is bad. He is bad. He's got to be. And now he has to stand. <laughs> He's got to be. What type of desert vagina is he experiencing? Obviously none. And his wife is like trying to. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not. That's not real. That's not. That's not healthy. Dude, that is so funny. And he's like so happy. Do they about really that. think that the lyrics are to be like literal? Like. You need a rain boot and raincoat for this wet ass p word. And it's like, well, if you need a raincoat, way too wet. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, bro, come on. Uh, it appears that if you are doing something that is going to uh, 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 soak the entire area, uh, that is something you might need to get checked out by a physician, some sort of medical profession. Also, NWA, <laughs> fuck the police. There's no consent. You can't just fuck police. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah. what are you saying? Yeah, no, I absolutely oh. agree with what I said. That guy's a psycho. A pretty good impression I got there. Yeah, I mean, it's not hard. All you have to do is try and sound like like the nerdy kid in like a Hey Arnold episode or some shit. Do you, th- like, 
do you single like for a single second be, like believe a single fucking thing he's saying because I need to, I need to get this out now because I will kill you what do you mean I don't know I had I started a sentence believe me believe him what are you saying I started a sentence and I didn't know where I was going that's good that's a good thing <laughs> you may have bacterial vaginismus I think I have yeah or ba- whatever yeah he said. bacterial vagin nah, vaginismus is when your uh, p word won't open is that what it is mm-hmm it's a real thing. Vaginismus. It's when your your vagina won't, like, you can't have sex. That was in that show. Sex education. Yes. We also interviewed someone who had it on uh, other people's lives. That's sad. I, I can imagine that it you is. You have to, like, slowly, you know, with a... Uh, what, does she have to use, like, drips of water to get it to go? What the fuck? What? I don't know. What are you going to do? Chinese water torture to your vagina? Get some secrets out of it? It might. No, you got to use these like uh, these ro- uh, whatever they're called, like yeah, basically like these dildos. Okay. I forgot what they're called, but they get like larger. Like the first one's like a pencil, and the next one it's like you know. Whatever. So like before like any sort of sexual interaction. Yeah, it's... because you could try to have sex, but your vagina would just be like, "Dude, chill. We're not letting. We're at capacity." Wow. Yeah, it just like contracts. That's crazy. Yeah, that's. Dude, I can vagi- imagine that's sad. Vaginas are just. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Vaginas are like our ocean. Like we know like 10%. We, yeah, we don't know enough about it. We haven't gone deep enough to know, yeah. to understand like fully what's down there. They like, they got sometimes teeth. Sometimes they want to shut, just shut down. Sometimes and, they just don't let it happen. They shut the club down. They shut. <laughs> Seriously. It's just they just crazy. shut the doors. No one else coming in. Yeah. And you Why and did you, I do this? Like a fucking mummy. <laughs> just fucking Wakanda? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Um, but yeah. So there's, you know, there's just, it's very, it's, it's crazy. I have the opposite of that with my asshole. It never closes. Like it's always actively doing something, you know? Your, your asshole is like a saloon door. It's yeah. The just, wind will just flap it open. <laughs> yeah. Just doors both ways. Spraying. Nothing's going in or out. I mean, I guess there's stuff going, no, none's going in. Well, what the fuck was that? Welcome to adulthood, young man. Whoa! Yeah, welcome. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that was a that was a tough one. You you you're notorious for the voice voice crack. Voice the voice quake. Yeah, I know. I just you know, I got a wet ass p word. <laughs> All right, never mind. I was thinking of something there, and I I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, before we get to more wet ass p words, we have to get to the advertisement. Oh, friends of the show already! Uh, How many minutes in are we? We're almost half an hour in. What? Yeah, we're having too much fun. <laughs> Isn't fun? Wet ass p word. Okay. Um. All right, let's get to the show. Here we have uh, Harry's razors. Uh, Harry's. Um, we use Harry's. We like to shave our face. You know what I'm saying? For you guys out there that want a nice clean shave. Go check out Harry's. One of my favorite things about this company is the packaging that they have. It's very sleek, very clean, very nice for the man. Okay, and their uh, quality durable blades at a fair price, just $2 per blade. Okay, that is a steal. Um, 1% of all proceeds are set aside for nonprofit organizations devoted to helping uh, and provide access to better mental health care for men and veterans. So when you do buy Harry's, know that you are making a difference in the world. Um, and you can go to harrys.com basement to redeem this uh, trial kit has a weighted handle for a firm grip, a uh, five blade razor with a lubricating strip and trimmer blade, rich lathering shave gel with aloe to keep your skin hydrated, and a travel blade cover to keep your razor dry and easy to grab on the go. Uh, again, that is harrys.com slash basement to start shaving and saving today. Okay, so go to Harry's, try it out. They're great. We love Harry's. Uh, next, we have stamps.com, which brings all the amazing um, services of the... Uh, U.S. Postal Service to your home. Um, whether you're a small business sending invoices uh, or an online seller shipping out products or working from home, if you need to mail stuff, you, you can use stamps.com at any time, 24-7, 3 a.m. You want to sell some stuff in your underwear? Fine. Use stamps.com. Um, but yeah, you can go to stamps.com. You also get great discounts. You get five cents off every stamp and up to 62% off USPS and UPS shipping rates. Um, so not only are you saving time, but you're also saving money. Um, and right now, our listeners can get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in basement. That is stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in basement, okay? And lastly, uh, let's talk about a uh, you know something that we've been talking about here, which is dicks. <clears throat> what? Just saying. We're talking about dicks. Uh, so dicks, right? Blue Chew. Oh, yeah. Blue Chew. Okay, Blue Chew brings you your first chewable 
uh, with the same FDA approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. So basically, you want to pop that pill and make that dick for serious. You know what I'm saying? Even if your dick works fine, that's not a big deal. You know, this is not just for erectile dysfunction. If you just want to make the experience better, and it can always be better. You know, you're not at the top of your game all the time. Speak for yourself. I'm not going to speak for myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Blue Chew is made in the USA. It's prescribed online by licensed physicians, so you don't have to go to the doctor or wait in line. Hello. Um, it's even cheaper than a pharmacy, and they prepare and ship it to you in a discreet package. Uh, so it's not like you're going to be like, hey, what's up? Got dick pills on my front porch, mm. you know? Um, no awkwardness, and you don't need to leave the house, all right? So um, our listeners, if you visit bluechew.com and you get your first shipment for free when you use the promo code BASEMENT, just pay $5 for shipping. That's You're getting something for free, basically. You're just paying for shipping to have a better dick. Let's just be honest here, okay? So go to bluechew.com, uh, use the code BASEMENT for a free shipment, uh, and just pay $5 for shipping. Again, that's B-L-U-E, chew.com, and use the promo code BASEMENT to try it for free. Okay? There you go. Um, but that's all for ta-da. Okay? And speaking of dicks, I wanted to talk about a country. Mm. Canada. Why are you looking at me like that? Yes, I love you. Enough. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> Canada. Go ahead. Canada. Canada has figured out how to navigate the world. Navigate the COVID. Is that you? I don't know. Uh, but they they figured out how to nav- navigate the COVID because, you know, people are going to fuck, right? We can't stop people from Can't fucking. do it. Like jackrabbits. Yeah. Except Ben Shapiro. Oh, yeah. Guys. Not having a whole bunch of sex. Not a lot. Um, Not with any wet-ass P-words. I only like the dry P-word. Yeah. If you have a wet-ass P-word, uh, you... You can get out. Yeah. And also... Please don't sit on my couch with that wet-ass P-word. Because it's a brand new couch, and it's gray, and it will stain. Yeah. yeah. I have bought and purchased dull diapers for wet-ass P-words. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. It, it's pretty good. Yeah, but anyway, Canada came out with a, a study. I think it was just, like, ways to go about having sex. And basically, what they said is that everyone should start using glory holes. Dude, I love it. I love it so much. Would you, I, you wouldn't use a glory hole. This is, for, first of all, this is why I love this story so much. It has nothing to do with how they're telling us to have sex. It's the fact that a country identified a glory hole as, as like, a glory hole as a glory hole. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's like it's so that's what a time to be alive. And what a name too. I mean, it's it's a hole, and there's a bunch of glory. It can be glory. <laughs> Mid talk, wait. <laughs> it can be glorious. All could also could be the opposite of glorious. Why would it be bad? What if you don't know that it's a glory hole, and then all of a sudden you're getting fucking hit in the eye by Timmy in the next stall? Oh, I was thinking about if you're putting your stuff into the hole, it has to be cool. I need to know. Are there? Uh, have you ever spoken to someone that goes to like controlled like glory hole parties or something like that? I've never even seen one. I don't know anyone who's ever used one that you know of. You've never seen one that you know of. Anything could be a glory hole. They're not just like in the... No. Anything could be a glory hole. Every hole can't be glorious, Frankie. Yes, every hole definitely can be glorious. That's not true. Why not? Because I heard that there's glory holes in like gay bars, but that may be just a myth. But it would make sense because gay dudes love fucking. (laughs) They love fucking. (laughs) Dude, it's crazy. Have you ever been to a gay bar? No, I want to go. Oh, it's so much. Well, we're gonna... We're gonna. Because our gay friend. Oh, Getting married. Is getting married. We can't say his name. We're not going to say his name. Yeah. But our gay friend's getting married. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be a gay But bash. he doesn't seem like he'd want to go to a gay bar. He'd want to just go He doesn't to... have a fucking choice. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. No, yeah, he wouldn't. But like, it, you know, I want to do that. I, I've been to a gay bar. First of all, in every sense of the word, so gay. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the gayest place. Yeah. And it's awesome. Right. I never in my whole life have felt so confident <laughs> you know i went and it was like people are buying you drink. i want to see where i'd line up dude you'd own the place in a half an hour are you fucking kidding me dude i went and i you know i i have actually been classified as an otter in the gay community sweet yep what do you think i would be uh you're you're 
you're a twank. No, you're a twunk. You're a twunk. Damn it. Or an otter. Otter and twunk are basically interchangeable. So we're the same? You and I are the same gay guys. Pretty cool. I'll take it. Yeah. But walk in. First of all, party atmosphere, top notch. You walked into this gay bar. What was the first thing that happened? Uh, Looked over at the bar. Uh Uh-huh. A lot of, I presume, gay men on the bar dancing. Uh Uh-huh. And, like, people were, like, ordering drinks in between their legs. Like... That sounds like a fun bar. Dude, there were... And, like... And I'm not saying, like... Just, like, dancing. Like, dicks out. Well, you saw penises. A whole lot of them. Wow. And you don't get... Like, this is why... You're, is you're that hum- even allowed? Probably not, but like pff, New Haven, Connecticut, they do whatever the yeah, fuck they, they want. Shit. Gun wave in New Haven. Yeah. And not actual guns, apparently. Apparently it's Dick Wave in New dude, Haven. Dude, first of all, big breeze under there. You know what I mean? I'm ordering like, can I get a beer? And it's just fucking pff, helicopter. You're underneath the helicopter. It's like that fucking saw trap where like the <laughs> <laughs> A pendulum of dick. Pendulum of dick. Yeah, yeah. And uh you know, just just at the time I remember, you know, a lot of Gay men asked me to dance. No, thank you. They were very respectful. Uh-huh. I was very respectful. Uh, but uh, it was so much fucking fun. Yeah, I just want to go and see, like, if I'm, you know. Dude, Cause you know how, like, stop gr- fucking around. You know you would crush. I, But I, you don't know that. Dude, fuck you. I feel like you have to. Like, you are every gay man's dream. That's not true. Yes, it is. I mean, some guys, I'll say that. Listen, because I've gotten messages where I'm, you know, people are like, yeah. I want you to sweat on me and shit. Dude, you're fucking hot and you know it. Dude. Oh my God. If I was gay, you're my number one choice. Okay. Stop saying that. With, the look in your eyes is evil. It's not loving. It's, it's, <laughs> it's promising. That's what it no, is. No, but what I'm saying is this. I'm going to get a lot of questions like regardless <laughs> regardless of you know whatever mm-hmm. you still don't know until you go fair you know fair fair um let's just i mean it's the world we're living in we might never be able to go to be yeah, honest I know. but you can't just swing a dick on a bar now it is uh unless you put a mask at one the end of it. the best like party going experience i've been to yeah uh, and I would highly recommend going. But as we were saying, like, I might have seen a glory hole there. You don't know. It could be a regular hole. It could be a glory hole. If there's a hole in the bathroom, either there's giant rats mm-hmm. running amok or someone's putting their dick through it. You know, the difference, I would assume, is in the insulation. You know, because if I just drill a hole through a fucking metal stall... That's some jagged metal on the side there. You know what I mean? Like we need to we need to properly insulate. You that. gotta treat that. You need to treat that. Make sure you're not walking out there with your dick looking like it's just went. You got cranked out by fucking Freddy Krueger. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think that's where you really tell the difference between a glory hole and the fact that Canada is like saying like, listen, they're not wrong because when you think about it, there's a giant wall in between you and your partner. And uh, just the good parts are showing. I need to know who brings like a like a like an eight by eight piece of cardboard with them to a sexual encounter and just no 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 I don't th- lowers the partition. You well, know that what I doesn't mean? count. It's Why only not because it's only a glory hole if you can't see the other side. But they're not saying like don't see each other during sex. I actually think uh, Jewish people they have sex with like a sheet. Like uh, the very religious ones. Like the, like, okay. Yeah, I don't like know what the it's Orthodox, called. Like the Orthodox Jewish community. Yeah, because uh, there was a lot who that went to Queens College. Mm-hmm. And I knew a lot of people who went there. I think my sister went there too. And they were saying how, like, sometimes, the I think it's the girls or the guys. I can't remember. Like, they can't look at. I, you know, other, I, heard, I heard that the too. The opposite sex. I heard that too. So they have, like, things around their desks. I heard, like, like when you were taking the spelling test in, like, third grade. You had the folders. <gasps> You remember when your teacher would, you would like, you have to oh, yeah. build a fort. Oh, yeah. Two folders. Oh, yeah. So stupid. Um, Cheated anyway. Of course. And I think I watched that show. It was like a, a mini mini series on Netflix, Unorthodox. Yes. And I think they mentioned that in there. It's like, it's basically like a privacy sheet and there's just a hole in it. And the hole is for the platypus and the invader. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's coming, like that's all it is. And like. Also, they like can't like sleep in the same bed when the woman is menstruating and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know much about it, and I doubt anyone in that community watches this. 
No, they're not, right? No, but I will say that, like, you know, they... Canada's got a point. That's what I'm trying to say. Is that glory hole sex is probably safe. I, you know, also, I, but I also feel like it's dangerous. Also, do you put your balls through a glory hole or do you just put, you them know, I think it really side? depends on the size of the glory hole. Like if you can fit your, if balls. you can fit your balls in there, go for it. I would say the most ergonomic way to use it is balls first, flaccid penis in it and then let it, and then let it, you know, kind of get up. started, you know, you know, fucking get it started and like let it just kind of enjoy itself in there yeah but what if you get stuck well you just wait until you go flaccid again it, it might take some time that could take all time it, i mean listen if you're using a glory hole you're you're there you're you're committed you know what i mean yeah you might as well just go for also, it. also i heard there used to be glory holes in the back of like video stores like video stores used to have that like porno section well i remember back. we remember though yeah i remember those there back. was one over here yeah oh yeah and they had like a there used to be rooms where it's like you can view what the fuck is that by the way what a room no 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 they used to like in the back of video stores there was like a porn section mm -hmm. that was like blocked off or whatever and then there was like a room where you could like preview shit but How really it was to like jerk there's no difference between all porn let's be honest like it's it's all this like you're, if you're going and buying like oh you know yeah backdoor whores and front yard bimbos like what's the difference there's no difference yeah you know what i mean so if you need to preview your porn hey man Maybe just lower your standards a little bit, you yeah, know? Yeah, just enjoy it. Yeah. But, like, people, like, are, you know, walking up and down these aisles, like, trying to find, like, the right bush. Just, like, casually, <laughs> just like casually walking through a porn aisle, just, like... They're trucks, Frankie. It's, oh, I mean, there's cars around. I here. didn't realize it's that loud. God damn, where do you live? And next to a fucking dump? So He's like, on fire. Oh, that's all I got. That's fire. all I got. <laughs> but like, if you're like browsing the porn section, you know what I mean? Like, I remember like, dude, porn is porn. You know what I mean? Like, just, just throw whatever you got on. Yes and no. But I do think that, you know, walking up and down an aisle and just like picking them out as if they're books, mm. you know, like books are very different. But with this one, we know it ends with ejaculation. Yeah. We know the ending. Yeah. We know exactly. But they, coming. I guess it's the costumes and like the... I guess I, I, I did I ever tell you the story when I stole a, uh, a porn magazine and it came with a DVD and I was, I was, where'd you steal it from? Like a fucking bodega. I was like 17, 18 and I was dared. It was the night of the Floyd Mayweather. What was the one that we watched at Impies? Floyd Mayweather and who? Uh, Sugar Shane. Sugar Shane Mosley. And I, and I was drunk. Duh. Dared. And I went and stole it. And I remember watching the video and being like, She's sitting on a motorcycle. Wait, she was sitting on a motorcycle? Yeah. And Naked? like the vibrations were like getting her going. Oh, there was it was like a solo. Yeah. So this is like a biker porn? Do they like sanitize that shit? Because I can imagine that that's got to be disgusting. I'm sure that there's some regulations. You know what I mean? Like you can't just sit on a bike. No. You can't do that. No, no, no. You know, even now, like I don't got a, a puss, but I'm afraid to sit on bikes because I know what they can come with. Gonorrhea. You know, and vag apparently fucking wet ass p word vaginosis. Stuff. Yeah, vag yeah. You know, it's all terrifying stuff. I didn't know that that story. By the way, a lot of people said that you told me the story of um whatever fucking thing we were talking about. Oh, where you like said that you came on your phone? Oh, or I probably did. I I tell a lot Dude, of stories. People are like, oh, Joe's like faking it. Dude, I, why do I not remember this at all? They're like, it's in whiskey talks, which normally. Judging from the name of Whiskey Talks, not gonna remember. We much. get it pretty drunk doing those yeah, things. Yeah, it's not apple juice, folks. Yeah, it, it's we're not sitting whiskey. there just crushing snapples. Also, full disclosure: whenever we filmed any of those Whiskey Talks, it's because we had a lot of whiskey, and then we're like, what? and then we think we're the funniest people in the world, and go put the camera on. I remember the first one. We were just sitting there. I was in a very tight shirt, and <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. And we were having whiskey. And you were just like, we were just bullshitting and you were like, stop. You went and got the camera and that's where, that's where it came from. Yeah. You know, but if he told, if I told you that during then, like, come on. I don't remember. Use your brain. I honestly fully don't remember that. 
at all. Yeah, no. Like it wasn't me faking it. Like I, I tell stories. Like that's my, that's my gig. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That's my, that's my spiel. That's my spiel. That's my spiel. But this one, where you're saying that you stole a, I could maybe you, you know, whatever. I definitely didn't know that you had a motorcycle porn. It was. It stole. came with a DVD in it, and it was motorcycle porn. And I remember watching it and being like, "That's not clean. Like that's not that's not sanitary." So even at a young age, you I was, weren't worried about. Oh my god, vagina. Yeah, I was more like, Ooh. she can get a, a yeah, a yeast like infection. I was. That's how I know I'm a very compassionate person. That's okay? how you know. That's how I know, because I was watching this porno, and instead of thinking about me, mm-hmm. I was making sure that this young woman uh, was being safe, was being cleansed, being clean on her p word, on her wet ass p word. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Do you remember when cereal used to come with dope shit? Like, you just reminded me because, like... How are we going from porn to this? I'm going to connect it real quick. But, like, you... (laughs) Because when you said that you stole a magazine, it came with a DVD. Yep. I I remember getting a cereal box that also came with a DVD. Okay. And there was two songs on it. Uh Uh-oh. The Police... Message in a bottle. Okay. Was it a Guitar Hero like? No, it was just a. It, dude, this was like. What fucking idiot? I had that to kids want to listen to fucking Message in a Bottle. Dude, listen. But I was like, it was the dude. It was the nineties. It wasn't like in. It wasn't even two thousand yet. Okay. Like I was. Well, young. if you were eight, it was two thousand. But okay, go ahead. I was young. I don't know. But the Police Message in a Bottle was mm-hmm, in it, mm-hmm. and then the and the other track was Brian Adams. Uh, Summer '69. Yes. Wait. <sighs> yes. 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 Summer '69. I got my first real sentry. Bank. Did you go absolutely fucking insane as an eight year old? That was honestly, I'm not even joking. Not even, that was the first song that I've ever like remembered the lyrics to because of that. Really? Because it came in a fucking Frosted Flakes box. Was <laughs> I swear to God? Who in their right mind was like in a fucking Frosted Flakes box? Like kids are gonna love this. Here, Brian Adams. <laughs> yeah, I mean, summer of '69. Technically, I guess they were right. Yeah. You know, I don't remember ever getting like cool stuff from like cereal boxes, you know? They used to have like legitimate gifts. I, I remember like they would have like toys sometimes, but I don't remember like CDs. Mad times. Really? Dude, I, my mom has beat me so many times in my you life. Threw out the box. Just because as soon as I open up a cereal box, I stick my hand into the cereal to find oh, the toy. I, I once did that with a box of Lucky Charms. You know where this is going. Yeah, your mom. Every single marshmallow was in my mouth. <laughs> I've done that. Oh, my mom was not happy. See, my mom never beat me. Oh, my mom hit the fuck out of Dude, me. Dude, my mom never beat me, but like her words beat me. You know what I mean? I don't know what hurts worse, getting hit or getting hit with words. Physical or mental warfare. Yeah, one of them is a, a lot worse. Not that my mom is a tyrant. No, she was. No, yeah, not a tyrant. She was not. She was a very nice lady. <laughs> but she definitely... No, my mom was a nice lady. She just packed a punch too. I think my mom was just like tired yeah she was just like just shut the fuck up she also had your brothers to deal with too and, yeah, and yeah running four kids up. absolutely and mm. then my dad was the complete opposite he didn't give a fuck yeah your dad is like the most silent treatment like yeah. psychological warfare kind of i don't even know sometimes i don't even know if he knows my name um yeah, yeah that's a good question i i often worry the sometimes same, <laughs> same some, thing sometimes i see him and i'm like hey how's it going and he says hey but he doesn't say my name and i'm like i think he forgot my name I think my dad is just slowly getting old, and he's just, like, forgetting about a whole lot. And he's well, he's like, going at the same speed we are, so I don't know how slow he can go. Yeah, all right. Pre- maybe pretty rapidly he's getting old. But, like, my dad is also the worst memory in the world. Ha, 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 ha. He'll just forget. Like, he, he... Dude, for some reason, I remember vividly uh-huh. the first time that I was allowed to go to your summer house. Yep. It was me, you, and your dad in his car. Hmm. We got McDonald's. Awesome. Duh. And then it was right around the time that Party Like a Rockstar came out. Oh, fuck yeah. And you put on Party Like a Rockstar. And it was on for maybe 28 seconds before your dad shut it off and fucking flamed you. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? The fuck is this shit? Dude, my dad used to have to put up with listening to some of the dumbest shit. We used shake to, that Laffy Taffy. Well, the Laffy Taffy, that Laffy Taffy was shaking in my dad's car. Oh, for I mean, yeah, it was shaking all over the block. All over. But my dad had to like. We also had uh, chocolate starfish and uh, well, uh, uh, isn't that chocolate a chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored water? What the fuck is that? That's the Limp Biscuit album that had Roland and My Way. Dude, I did not even. know Dude, that. we used to on the way to the lake. My way. Dude, on the way to the lake. From here, hour twenty, hour and a half. Yeah, we would just put those two songs on interchangeably. 
rolling in my way the whole way and my dad would be like fuck it fuck it stop <laughs> like after a while you could only hear limp biscuit say you know like oh, oh you know oh, let me run in it you know like i did it all for the nookie what the nookie thank you yes um but <laughs> i remember my dad once your dad must have been so confused because you were like also into Young Jeezy and then Limp Biscuit. My dad like, was my dad was very confused about me as a as a teen. Mm-hmm. I was a confusing teen. I oh, mean, you understandably were a very so. Confusing teen. You know, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he would like. I remember once my dad screamed at me because you you ever heard the idea that like if you put a song on too loud and it just starts, it can like blow out the speakers. No, but okay. My dad screamed at me because we had the WWF <laughs> anthology. Series of fucking songs. Those CDs. You remember those? Yeah. And one disc had the the Matt Hardy version one song on it, where it starts with, "Oh yeah," <laughs> and it was like I was like, "Oh, I love this song," and I fucking turned turned it up, turned it all the way up, and my dad's driving, and it just in his fucking ear just screamed, "Oh yeah," and my dad instantly turned it down. He's like, "You'll break." The fucking speakers. <laughs> it sounds like that. <laughs> oh my god. And he was furious. And then my dad would like to get back at my brothers and I to shut us up. He would play like Spanish music. Mm-hmm. So we would be going from like fucking Rey Mysterio <laughs> 619 like yeah. to like right after like coming and the like de mi. And we'd be like that sucks. That sucked. He, I don't even know what they're saying. He'd blast the Gypsy Kings and just shut us the fuck up. <laughs> How come you never like learned Spanish? I'm surprised. He's fluent, right? Well, yeah, he was born there. Uh, out of all my family, I know it the best, and like I can hold a basic conversation. I just, no, I know, but like, I can't like speak the speak shit out of it. The shit out of it. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like I, I can, you know, I can absolutely hold a basic conversation, but like. <laughs> Absolutely. But with certain, like, I can't, I'm not, like, ordering food, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I remember I used to go, and I'd be like, you know, I'd say, like, my order in Spanish. I'd be like, you know, una bandera paisa con bistec y cebollana, si, una colombiana. And, like, they'd be like, <laughs> okay, okay. And I'd be like, si, 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 si. I'd look at my dad, and my dad would be like, and I would like try to play it off like as he said to me I understood it so he'd be like you ask if you want you know any onions yes I want onions like yeah I, I got that you know what yeah. I mean oh my god that is yeah. good we have legendary dads because your dad we can't talk enough about that man <sighs> the guy's nuts every time he calls me he asks me if I'm still making money <laughs> He thinks. To be fair, I ask you the same thing. <laughs> My dad still th- he calls me and he'll say, "That's good, that's good." By the way, you're still making money, right? He thinks that I'm just doing this, just giving it up, and just not making any money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Your dad was the most like I've heard people breathe, but like your dad breathing is like another level of breath. The guy used to be very tired as soon as he woke up. I I remember. You're, like, a wake-up call in some people's houses would be, like, the TV on or kids running around. The wake-up call when I would sleep over your house, which was a lot, was your dad basically spitting out a world full of shit into the toilet. Yeah, my dad... <laughs> my dad literally used to do that every single morning. Yeah. And this is a, and he used to wash his face. Remember he used to wash his face? And everything was soaked. Do you ever hear... If anyone's watched Jurassic Park and you hear the... Uh, Velociraptor is like making that like screech. That's what he sounds like when he washes his face. <laughs> also, his toothbrush. If anyone has seen his toothbrush, which no one has, uh, <laughs> no, but his toothbrush used to look like how the bristles on a toothbrush look like regular, whatever. They were separated. It looked like Moses walked through this toothbrush. Like, the bristles would just be flying towards the outside, and the middle would just be plastic. Your dad would brush so hard. I was going to say, your dad would, like, bite on it and just fucking... Yeah. One time, time. one time, he woke up, and a full tooth just came out of his mouth. (laughs) And and that was the first day that I figured out that teeth actually look like what they look like like on TV. Oh, with, like, the little... The roots? Yeah. Like, the fucking... The whole tooth came out. And And I was like... We just like it just fell out. Just fell out. It's kind of cool. No, why not? I don't know what that means, but his whole fucking tooth came out. It was it was incredible. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, hey man, sometimes you lose a tooth when you wake up. And one time I was going to the bathroom when I was younger, 
And I was like, it was like in the morning. I'm like taking a shit. There's a knock at the door. And, um, you know, I just finished up and I was like, going to wash my hands. But it's first, very quiet and serious. But first I opened the door and my dad's standing there like this. Right. And I'm like, you good? And he's going, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, you throw up? And he goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> He was standing at the bathroom door with his mouth open where he had thrown up in his mouth oh. and has now made a throw up bird bath oh. with his mouth like this oh. and was holding it open. And I was like, go ahead. And he just like walked in and spit it out. It, it, this is the man oh. that raised me. Oh my God. At least he didn't do what those fucking psychopaths do and swallow it. Who does that? People throw up in their mouth all the time and like, I got it down. No, no, no. No, no, no. I think, like, I've done the throw up in your mouth thing, but I think it's, like, acid reflux. That, no, like, like, like people, like, up. flat out, like, throw up and, like, swallow it again. That makes me want to vomit. A friend of mine did that. My uh, Sly. Years ago. Threw up in his mouth and drunk it. Drank it. Drunk it? Dr- swallowed it. Yes. Swallowed it, as you were saying. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We were out, and he, you know, had a couple too many. You know, those well liquor drinks will get you. Uh-huh. And I remember we were out. And he was just like, I'm good. And I was like, what was that? And he was like, I threw up. And I'm like, where did it go? He goes, back down. And I was like, what? Wouldn't your body, like, that doesn't even make sense by, like, wouldn't your body just go like, no, no, no. No, uh, 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 uh. (laughs) We know what we did. Yeah. No, no, no. You can't sweep this under the rug. Take it out. Get it out of here. Yeah, absolutely. This is the exact thing that we sent out. You're coming back in? Yeah. Get the fuck out. That's like food being sent back to the chef. And they're just going to be like, give it back to you with like spit and more shit in it. It's like, oh, you want it back? Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Or it's like getting kicked out of a bar and then turning around and being like, how you doing? I want to come in. They're like, yeah, come on right back. Have you ever been kicked out of a bar? I don't think I have. I think, yeah. Yes. But not just me. Like, as a group. As a group, okay. I don't yeah. think I've been kicked out of a bar. There have been times I should have. There's been times that I've left a bar because I'm like, we should probably leave. This is bad. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I know there have been times where we should have been kicked out, but, like, no, like, no, like, actual, like, removal. One of our friends, not going to say his name. Uh, or her name. St- nope, dude. Okay. Got drunk and then jumped oh. like a starfish onto a, a table full of... Dude, very polite Asian men. This is the best story because I remember turning around and seeing airborne, n- airborne, full, <laughs> like full belly flop. And normally, when you see someone doing that jump, they hit water and they're gone. This person just hit a wooden table very wood. and <laughs> stayed there. Yeah, incredible, absolutely incredible. Yeah. So you gotta, hey, you gotta have a little fun. That you know? time, and then obviously a fight broke out that night, so we had to leave. Did it? Mm-hmm. I don't remember that. It was an argument for a separate thing. I remember that was the last time I've been to. No, that's not true. Might maybe? No, 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 no. Well, that was the last time I went to a, a strip club. We went to one a of strip the last club? times. You didn't oh, go. No, yeah, I do me remember. and a couple of my buddies went. Yeah, my buddies, not yours. <laughs> the same people we were with. <laughs> And uh, I remember one of our friends. That was the last time you were at a no, strip no, club? No, no, no. That's why I said. Because oh, yeah. last time I was in strip club was in, a, in Vegas in like, I think like 2016 or something. But it was one of our buddies was paying for a massage of some sort. Let's put it like that. And we had to go. Like, it was like 4 a.m. We were all exhausted. And we were like, yo, like, we need to get this kid out of here. So we went in. And, like, the bouncer was like, you're not coming in. Like, no fucking way. So we were like, all right, yo, like, what are we going to do? So we told the bouncer, like, yo, our boy's in there. One of our boys just got jumped, and we need him. And that worked? And we went in, and we saw our friend getting a massage. And we're like, yo, so-and-so just got jumped. We need to go. And they're like, whoa, okay. And they got up, and we left. And then they were like, where? And I was like, yo, dude. No one got jumped. I remember this story. That's a good plan. I mean, it worked. It did work. I mean, it got but you, you take two. It got you past the bouncer. Yeah, bouncer, very nice, very nice man. I remember he was uh, quite large, a lot larger than me. He's a bouncer. Yeah, he bounces. Yeah, but uh, why are they called bouncers? Because they diddy bop when the song plays. That's it. You know, 
That's the reason why. The good old Diddy Bop. Who doesn't like to? Who doesn't like to Diddy Bop? I almost just threw up, I think. Why? I don't know. The bopping? Maybe the popping was or a little was too hard. Or was it the Diddy? I started off the show dancing. I'm Diddy Bopping now. It, it could be a dangerous time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Gotta start and end with good, you know, little energy. Well, I think before you start continuing that, we should wrap it up. Why? Uh, yeah. Your posture is making me vomit right now. Please stop. I mean, the quicker you end this, the quicker we get to watch Two Girls, One Cup. So. Oh, that's right. I forget we have to do that. Yep. I love how you say we have to. Like, it's like... Well, we have no choice. We have an obligation. Like, I f- I a journalistic obligation. It's been over a decade since yes, I've seen man. <laughs> I can't... Anytime I hear it's been, I have to do that. Do you know that one time in high school, so that song, mm-hmm. the kid who sat in front of me, my freshman year of like English class... You had to go up in front of the class and like you have to write something about yourself and then recite it in front of the class. And he wrote out the lyrics. The lyrics of like, I'm the kind of guy that laughs at a funeral. Can't <laughs> understand what I mean, but you soon will. Like he read the whole thing. And I don't think anyone got it's it all, except that's me. That's incredible. Yeah, I don't think anyone got it except me. And like the t- like he was just up there and like trying not to laugh the whole time, so no one understood oh, what was going on. Damn. And everyone's like, This kid laughs at funerals? What the fuck's wrong? <laughs> I'm the kind of guy that laughs at a funeral. That's a good one. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Shout out. Um, but anyway, yeah. Frank, was his name Ben? His name wasn't. Damn it. It was Kevin. Um, the fucking that name sucked. Was it Kevin, that piece of shit that cheated on, that took my ex-girlfriend from me? No. Oh, that's another story for another time. What's uh, a... <laughs> What's uh? Where can they find uh, you, bud? Alvarez 8085 on Twitter and on Twitch if you guys want to come hang out with me, play some video games, talk some shite. Uh, and uh, the Frank Alvarez on uh, Instagram. Uh, and then, you know, make sure you go to uh, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Right? Mm-hmm. Right? Patreon.com slash the basement yard, where you guys will get a extra episode of us every single week on Fridays they come out. Um, so go check we got that some, out. We got some heat coming there. We got way. some heat coming that way. Yeah. We have a big bracket that we just did where uh, we finally decided on the hottest animated woman of all time. It was. I will say, violent, very difficult. It was very difficult. There was a lot of difference of opinion. Well, I mean, naturally, we're two adult males. You yeah, know? two adult males with two uh, raging animated bone Fucking stiffies. Steve. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I got a little crazy. Yeah. So you can go to patreon.com slash the basement yard to see that. Um, but yeah. And then also, you can follow the show at the basement yard on Instagram. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our clips channel, which is uh, youtube.com slash the basement yard clips. And uh, you can go check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Joe Santagato. I go live multiple times every single week. And uh, yeah, that is all. See you guys next time.